As a person with a very deep voice, I'm hired all the time for advertising campaigns. But a deep voice doesn't sell B2B. And advertising on the wrong platform doesn't sell B2B either. That's why if you're a B2B marketer, you should use LinkedIn ads. LinkedIn has the targeting capabilities to help you reach the world's largest professional audience. That's right. Over 70 million decision makers all in one place. All the big wigs, then medium wigs. Also small wigs who are on the path to becoming big wigs. Okay, that's enough about wigs. LinkedIn ads allows you to focus on getting your B2B message to the right people. So, does that mean you should use ads on LinkedIn instead of hiring me, the man with the deepest voice in the world? Yes. Yes, it does. Get started today and see why LinkedIn is the place to be to be. We'll even give you a $100 credit on your next campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. You're listening to a Mint Podcast. Brought to you by HD Smartcast. Good morning, listeners. Welcome to Top of the Morning by Mint. Your weekday newscast that brings you five major stories from the world of business. It's Monday, April 1st, 2024. My name is Nelson John. Let's get started. Top of the Morning by Mint. With the financial year wrapping up last week, a lot of data was published from the past 12 months. One crucial data set was that from the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. This act provides 100 days of guaranteed employment to every household. Most routinely, these jobs are available in the construction sector. With a poor monsoon last year, it was expected that more people would take up Manreka jobs. However, Official data shows that year-on-year jobs remain largely flat. Usually, a bad monsoon would result in less agricultural work. And in turn, more Manrega job applicants. Men's economy reporter Girish Chandra Prasad and Rick Kundu bring you the details. The big tech development from last year was the release of ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence system that generates answers based on inputs. ChatGPT's free model runs on the GPT 3.5 version, while the paid model that costs $20 a month uses GPT 4. But many users are unhappy with the output. Even with the paid model, ChatGPT's founder Sam Altman agrees he admits that it kind of sucks. A new version is expected this year. Mint's tech editor Leslie DeMonte writes about what we can expect with GPT-5 and how ChatGPT's competition is currently performing. If you're a tech geek, you might have heard of Carl Pei. He's the original mastermind behind the wildly successful brand OnePlus and later started his own company, named Nothing. The China-born CEO started out by making a website at 12 years old to help people beat a Pokemon game and never stop tinkering with both software and hardware. The result? Helping establish OnePlus, which ended up selling millions of phones first in China and then the rest of the world. But Pei still felt he needed to prove something on his own and left in 2021 to start nothing. Mint Lounge's Nitin Sridhar speaks to Carl Pei about his journey and work with this fantastic profile. Chances are, you haven't been to watch a Bollywood movie in the theatre so far this year. And I won't blame you for this. The releases have been quite lacklustre. Men's media and entertainment reporter Lata Chat reports that the absence of major stars from the release movies has caused a drop in cinema goers. But the trend doesn't stop there. A slump in price paid by OTTs such as Netflix, Hotstar, and Amazon Prime to stream movies post-release are also hampering the movie business. You may have heard of ShareChat and Moj. These are two short video platforms that have become popular after the Indian government banned TikTok in 2020. Both ShareChat and Moj are owned by the same company, Mohalla Tech. But despite being operational for more than four years, the companies haven't yet figured out a sustainable business model. The result? Losses adding up to more than 5,000 crore rupees in the last financial year. Where does Mohalla go from here? Priyam Vadasi tries to answer. 
We'd love to hear your feedback on this podcast. Let us know by writing to us at feedback at the rate life mint.com. You may send us feedback, your tips, or anything that you feel we should be covering from your vantage point in the world of business and finance. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with a fresh episode of Top of the Morning. Have a nice day. Top of the Morning by Mint. The South Dakota Stories, Volume 7. My trip to South Dakota was the best summer ever. Now I don't need to go to Mars because I've been to the Badlands. And I caught a bigger walleye than Dad when we went to the Missouri River. Then I rode my bike through these huge rocks called needles. Ooh, I also saw my first herd of bison, even a fuzzy furry baby one. I can't wait to go back and see more. There's so much South Dakota, so little time.